this has been a very traumatic year. A lot of people lost their loved ones in long-term care without ever getting to say goodbye. That ombudsman specialist from the State Department of Aging says it has been a challenge getting back inside long-term care facilities. COVID-19 cases are dropping, but many nursing homes are not relaxing restrictions. Some providers are hesitant to lift protocols in order to limit virus exposure. Fox 43's Rachel Yankunas reveals what senior care advocates are doing to help families concerned about their loved ones still isolated and alone. The state has received hundreds of complaints in the last few months from residents in long-term care settings. Most visitation is still limited to certain days, hours, and sometimes only outdoors. Fox 43 reveals what families can do and who they can turn to for help. For residents of long-term care facilities, it feels like June 2020. A single COVID-19 case triggers a two-week lockdown inside nursing homes despite high vaccination rates. Senior care advocates hearing from families across the country. Many residents have explained to us over this past year that they felt like prisoners. And while things are opening up and getting better for many of them, there are still too many that are experiencing that. The state's long-term care ombudsman program in the Department of Aging works to resolve issues on behalf of residents in long-term care settings. Box 43 reveals that their office received more than 1,900 complaints so far this year. 30% dealt with care issues like personal hygiene. 22% raised concerns about the violations of residents' rights. That also includes the right to visitors. This has been an ongoing issue um, since the pandemic closures occurred. We've gotten calls from family members where their mom doesn't recognize them anymore. And that's tragic and that is traumatic. Many long-term care providers stop all visitation after one positive case of COVID-19, even in facilities that have had few outbreaks. The reason? They want to keep it that way. In some circumstances, I can honestly understand wholeheartedly that their intentions are good in that they want to keep that risk of community spread or f spread within their facility down. Um, but we're at the point in time now where residents should be empowered to have some choices in the matter. Despite a new outbreak, federal guidelines require compassionate care visits to continue in nursing homes. Advocates tell Fox 43 reveals families should remind providers of this right. We encourage people even to take the guidance with them into the facility, um, take the paper with them and show the facility um, where it says that they uh, that they should be able to be working with the with the family members. Every licensed long-term care facility in the state has a poster with contact information for their local ombudsman. They can be a great resource for families. And you can also call the state ombudsman office. We have that number for you on fox43.com. Fox 43 reveals issues that affect you and your family to keep you informed. Do you have a story you want us to investigate? Send us an email at fox43reveals at fox43.com.